process on, on the legislative process. Issue five, habla espanol. Voy a construir puentes, no paredes. Bienvenidos, la onda latina, aquí. The presidential candidates are polishing up their Spanish to court the Hispanic vote. But in Arizona, some voters want to say adios to Spanish. A referendum to abolish bilingual education from the state's schools will be on the Arizona ballot November 7. Supporters of the measure hope to improve student performance. When California scrapped bilingual education two years ago, its students' standardized test scores went up. Interestingly, many who support the English-only measure are themselves Hispanic. They say Arizona's 30-year-old bilingual system is a sham. It leaves immigrant children with poor English skills and dooms them to educational and economic failure. But opponents view the banned bilingualism initiative as grossly unfair. They say bilingual education maintains students' native language skills and culture and keeps them on an even footing with English-speaking students because native tongues as well as English can become instruments of learning. Others see the anti-bilingual measure as anti-immigrant. What's the principal motivation behind this initiative effort to ban bilingual education? Eleanor Clift. Well, I think in the early 90s, when the Republican Party was on its war against immigrants, the anti-bilingual measures did convey a hostility towards the immigrant community. But I think if, if you look at this as an educational theory, kids do better if they're immersed in English. But these measures rip away all help, and I think you want to be able to also give them some bilingual help. And neither of the presidential candidates, Bush or Gore, favor ending bilingual education totally. Do you think this measure is anti-immigrant or is it pro-assimilation? I think it's pro-immigrant because it helps give Spanish-speaking immigrants a chance that people could, speaking other languages get because they don't get the bilingual to education. To master the language? To master the language, to be able to move up in society and not just work in garment sweatshops as their parents do and have other opportunities. Uh, it, I think that, I, I mean, I've covered this thing. I've been out in California. I covered Proposition 227, which passed in June 1998. Which provided what? Which provided, it's, it, it's a twin of this Arizona measure, sponsored by entrepreneur Ron Unz, who is a conservative Republican, but with support from Alice Callahan, who's a lib liberal left ex none who has What point were you moving on to? My point is that uh, I have been in the classrooms. It's working. The test scores are up. Kids are learning in English. I, you know, when you see somebody, a kid who, in, in, you see him in June, who's being speaking reading fluently in English, who know, knew no English at the beginning of the school year, this can work. The other system held kids back and was evil. But, but my, the bilingual education is not a single form of instruction. To make a flat declaration that it works or it doesn't work verges on the meaningless. We've had 30 well, look, years of look, experience. Tony, of it look, not look, let me hear from Tony. Look, look, quickly, by the way, the Republican Party was not anti-immigrants. They were anti-illegal immigrants. <clears throat> but but, but, politi but politi that politically that didn't play, so <laughs> that they backed off of that. But there's no question oh. pol on a policy basis that uh, bilingual education we is all, damaging. We all agree that this ban on bilingual education in Arizona will pass, correct? Will yes. pass. 